what's up youtube it's your girl hannah perry and we're back with another video so today we're vlogging at the dps office yes we're at the dps office i'm 19 and i don't have my driver's license <laughs> but this is the third time's a charm hopefully i get to walk away here a complete you know driver and i get to get my driver's license so fingers crossed but i'm basically just going to be taking you guys with me today on my journey i have a lot of things planned for the end of the day i'm not going to be recording while we're doing the driver's test because i don't know if i can do that anyway but i'm literally looking at where i'm about to do the test at so y'all wish me luck and stay tuned to see what happens um at first i did it in my home town like right there but now we, we did it at a, um this is the third time but i'm doing it at a further away place so hopefully it's easier i don't know i've been practicing um hopefully have the whole parallel park thing down packed and um yeah good luck to me <laughs> and um talk to later. so you guys as you can probably tell i'm not crying so no i'm kidding i don't know if the results yet but we're waiting um here with my mom She's more nervous than I am. <laughs> she Facebooking and everything about about uh, her being nervous for the test. But um, I definitely got the parallel parking done. And I don't know what it is about this third time. But I just want to know what test results because I'm pretty sure your girl is a new certified driver. So I'm going to update y'all <laughs> with the certificate because I know it's coming. <laughs> Look at her. The, the reaction I'm supposed to have. <laughs> Yeah. She passed! <laughs> she passed! Oh, I can calm down now. Oh, you guys. Oh. Freedom! So I'm gonna run away. You're so uninterested. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, he must be driving. You driving? Yeah, I'm driving. Bye. Huh? I passed. Look You're not gonna yeah, like yeah, you need give me a high five or something? <laughs> Look. Bonafide right. driver yeah. in the yeah. house. Yeah. Woo, woo. We gotta have a party. Woo, woo. <laughs> woo, woo. <laughs> All right, so you guys, we're gonna head home with the certified driver. And I'm gonna tell y'all what else we're gonna do for the rest of the day because I have a few plans. I wanna do this photo shoot and what else and a little bit of sewing i'm gonna show y'all how your girl gets down in the clothing line business that's a nice touch it is that's why it's sitting up on that yeah the marquee yeah So I'm back at home and I'm getting ready to do my next thing little part of the day. I am going to be recreating this dress um, out of a old dress that I um, pretty much a hand-me-down. Um, this is beautiful kind of, is this chiffon? I can't tell what color that is, but it's a really beautiful, elegant dress. And I'll try to enter some pictures if I have any pictures of me in the dress um, around the screen. But I have a little bit of a history between my sewing machine as you can see here. Uh, my dad got it for me about two years ago. I originally started sewing in my fashion class, which I started in high school. It's been like two or three, almost going on three years since I graduated high school. But I first started creating actually this piece you see here, which started off as a 2XL dress. And then I turned it into like a two-piece dress uh, top and skirt. And then I turned it into this piece. This is actually what the skirt was. I turned it into a bit of a halter top. So... If you haven't already seen it and the back is kind of out which i need to get a tag but so yeah this is what i turned it into and um it's very efficient i love sewing i love really creating i was just kind of sick of the arts and crafts so when my dad got me my own sewing machine i started creating my own projects of my own and so you are going to see a little bit of that today some people may know that i have a sewing machine and that i do these kind of creations here and there but um if you don't that's just another thing that hannah knows how to do because I really could do it all if I really wanted to but uh yeah so this dress that I'm gonna I'm basically gonna be cinching it down let's see if I can focus that I'm gonna be cinching it down to my waist because the way that it fits is just a little bit oversized and I want it to really hug my figure and give me that elegant flowy look so hopefully that'll work out but I'll show y'all kind of clips of exactly how I'm gonna do that and what I've already done because I did already start the process again this is just a vlog on kind of like a busy day for once so I'm just letting y'all see 
what I'm up to but um, so far I've already started cinching the bigger part of the waist it also has a bit of a slip on the inside so I need to uh, cinch that in as well and that's what I'm gonna get started on so as y'all can sort of see here the seam line going across these two sides and what I need to do is basically sew all of this off now I already kind of did some work but it still comes off as like a really broad shouldered dress um, because of how wide it is I'm just not that wide so if I cut these two pieces off by using the sewing machine which this is the sewing machine here it's a brother 360 I believe and it's a um, embroidery room machine as well but yeah so once I sew these little two pieces off then it should be the perfect size for me which everything when you're sewing it can be eyeballed or if you just know how to perfectly sew sizes like small medium large things like that then you can easily just um, use a reference chart or a reference sheet and just do that but most of the time I just eyeball it by trying it on several times and then seeing how much more I need to cut off so as you can see here I am simply just adjusting the fabric and sewing right across that line like I mentioned before then I'll just adjust as needed and continue to sew until I'm completed with this section and then move along to the next side just showing you the part that I've sewn down and I'll cut off that extra fabric later. So here's how the dress fits. I wasn't able to upload any pictures of what it looked like before, but it definitely fits better. I was able to close the seams in on the side and it's just more cinched and still slightly flowy like I liked it to be. I also left the straps on and everything else pretty much the way the dress was formed. The slit on the side may be useful for some of these pics but we'll see what I do when I decide to post my pictures. So now that I'm done with this piece, I'm going to probably take a nap, give my phone some time to charge, and then get back with y'all around 6 or 7 p.m. when the golden light is shining in my garage. That's exactly where I'm going to be shooting my photos at. I'm going to show you guys the backdrop and how I'm going to get that set up as well, and then shoot the pictures on my phone. So I'll show you guys a video of exactly how I'm going to be doing the shoot, and then I'll insert like clips and pictures that aren't edit it so y'all can see like a rough draft of what I'm gonna end up posting eventually in August because in August is my birthday month if some of you don't know I'm a Virgo baby but my birthday is in the end of August but I'm just like it's August I'm ready for Virgo season and I'm gonna post in this so see you guys in a bit okay so this is what we're working with i put on some makeup again just a little touch up of some powders on my face i use my favorite palette yet it's nyx modern dreamer i use the colors 30 31 and 32 it's these green tones for my eyes and i put on a little more blush a little more contour tried to do my edges and so i'm sitting waiting uh in this robe so i don't get my dress dirty or sweaty or anything while i go set up my photo shoot backdrop the stand um my photo shoot picture stand and a fan because even though it's six o'clock and that sun going down it's still hot outside so this is what we're working with i'm loving all of these earthy tones for my virgo babies and our earth sign i just feel like i embodied this perfectly <laughs>
this is what the finished backdrop looks like i'll put the link to this actual backdrop in the description below um but i'm about to show you guys a few of the poses and use that as a reference for what i'll actually do when i get my clothes back on for the dress and start shooting I also want to say that I put my phone on portrait mode so it'll focus close enough to where the only part that's in the picture is the backdrop and of course my body but not the boxes and everything else in the garage.